Hey everyone, it's Melody with Design by Melody. I hope you all are doing wonderful this Saturday afternoon. It's actually quite cold here. We were supposed to get some snow, so we will see how this actually ends up being today. Um, but I thought it was a great time to go ahead and get a video up for you guys. So I have been doing some scrapbooking, obviously, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> I've been doing actually a lot of scrapbooking here recently, and I am completely loving it. I kind of had a rough end of the year last year, just really, really busy kind of figuring out what I'm doing and what I need to be doing. Um, and just figuring out a flow. Well, I've really gotten into a flow and I'm absolutely loving it. One of the things that I did this year, and if you missed it, I will link it in the description box below, is setting goals for myself monthly and actually writing those down. So I have a focus for the year where I kind of made six categories and just listed some things that I want to try to focus on this year overall. And then each month I'm going through it and making goals specific off of those things. And I did a whole video for that um, a couple weeks ago. So again, like I said, I will link that below in the um, description box below so you can actually see that. But one of the things I put on there. Well, the thing I really shared with you guys on here on my YouTube channel was my crafty or creative goals. And one of them was um, doing something creative every day and have been super good at that. And it's really kind of been good, I think, for my, my, like a mental status. <laughs> Not that I, I don't really have anxiety or anything like that. I know a lot of people suffer from that. I don't really have any issues with that. However, I just do better whenever I feel like I have some sort of outlet every day and creative things and scrappy things are that outlet for me because that is something I do for myself. I do it as well for my family, but it's really something that I enjoy doing and that's something that I do alone. So sitting in my room and doing a little bit of scrapbooking is kind of just that moment where I get a little bit of peace. Nobody really bothers me. I'm not needed. I'm not trying to help somebody with anything. It's just really kind of my moment. And I've really been enjoying that. That's really, really good for my, my just mental status and spirit and everything else. So I just think it's been a great goal for me to have for this year. And that is just something that I've really been working through. Um, another thing is, I have really made super good progress on the goals I made for January. And I am extremely happy about that. And not progress, like progress, not only in like the creative goals, but in all of the goals that I had listed. Um, one of the things was doing like getting a couple home projects done. And I've been really good about that. And one thing is like purging a couple of things. And I've been I've already got a couple bags ready to go and a couple of things that I sold online, just, you know, things that we didn't need that was either going to be donated or um, might as well make a little bit of money off of that as well. So I sold a few things. I've just been really, really happy. And I think it's actually come through in my layouts. Each layout I do, I like more and more and more. It's just I think I mean, I've never really struggled with my style per se. I like a little bit of everything. Um, but there are certain layouts, of course, that I like better than others. And this is one of those. It's very, it's a very clean layout. I also really enjoy the Gossamer Blue kits when they had those available. I like the colors and the styles of those. So I think that helps um, with the overall ending effect of the layout. Of course, if you love the products you're using, typically you're going to love the layout that you make. So this was just one of those, those layouts that turned out really well. I really like the colors of that softer pink, a couple different gray tones, um, kind of a brighter it's not really a red. It's more of like a tomatoey red, I, in my opinion. And then that navy blue. And these photos are really bright and crisp as well. They were taken outside in the summer. So they've got that really nice blue water of the pool and just the really um, clear sky images. There is one photo inside that is kind of dark, but it was a picture of Kaylin learning how to play the guitar. He was just kind of messing around with it. But my brother-in-law plays the guitar at their, in their church band. Actually... I think he does the drums, but he can also play the guitar. And so he was letting Kaylin kind of strum on his guitar a little bit one day when we were at their house. Going through the products, I've got all of the cards laid out here. One of those cards was actually that top right four by six card is actually a piece of scrap paper that I had added to this kit, which there you go. That's the perfect reason for me to add scraps to my kit. I also had to mat a few of these smaller photos on white cardstock as well. So I had included white cardstock scraps. So I am definitely using things that are in my stash. And then things like this, this, um, 
these letters that say high five, that was in that tag pack that I had added and I had used the tag already and it had the word high five die cut out of it. So it had the negative, well, it had the letters. The tag itself, I suppose, was the negative image. But they have been in my drawer for probably over a year. And it's not that I necessarily forgot about them, but it's not necessarily that I was grabbing for them either. So it's really nice to find ways to incorporate that into this layout that I absolutely love. Like it just worked really well and it was not it was not part of that kit. So just taking a few minutes and adding a few things to this kit was totally worth it. It seems like I've been watching, of course, I have a lot of YouTubers that I watch and I do, I always play them when I'm like doing any kind of paperwork or doing any housework or anything like that. And sometimes in the evenings I will sit there and watch a few, um, a few videos, but it seems like the overall theme so far this year has not been shopping. There has been so many videos about, um, not buying anymore, using your stash, um, being a little bit more purposeful about scrapbooking and things like that. And that falls right in line with kind of what I've been talking about as my goals. So it's kind of refreshing to see that it's kind of on everybody's mind. It's not on everybody's mind, but it seems like it's on a lot of people's minds as well. Now, I'm not opposed to necessarily buying new product, but I really want to, I don't really need to buy new product at this moment. I don't, I'm not on a no spend year or something like that, though I probably could be probably should be. <laughs> I'm not. But um, I I just don't need to buy anything. I went to Tuesday morning the other day and it was crazy. I walked around and walked around and walked around and left with nothing. Like I didn't even pick up anything. Nothing really caught my eye. I went through everything too. I went through all of the paper pads they had, all of the collection packs that they had, all the alphas they had. Nothing grabbed my eye. Nothing. So I was kind of shocked to be honest with you. Because I was, I was really thinking, okay, I'll go in. I'll just, you know, maybe spend ten dollars or so. You can actually buy a lot at Tuesday morning for not a whole lot of money. So I was like, oh, I'll spend about ten dollars or so. I'll be okay with that. You know, I'd be, I'd be fine spending ten, and I don't want to spend thirty or anything like that. But I'd be okay spending ten dollars, grab a few little things, something new, something I don't have, and I didn't get anything. But that's just the way it goes sometimes. So. This layout has, oh, and excuse the ink that is all over my finger. <laughs> I was like working on spray painting a, um, this is like a project. It is on my goal list for the house. I'm doing a DIY, like it's an old metal rack. And so I had to like get all the old paint off of it and then wash it and then paint it and then do a second coat. And it's been quite an ordeal because it's been super windy here in North Carolina recently. And every time I try to do it, it's either raining or the wind is so terrible. So it has really been like stages, like stages. I think I've had to paint it like three or four different times so far and I'm just finishing the first coat, but it's just because it's been too windy to really do a whole lot. I would, I would try to do it and then the wind would gust up. So I'd have to stop and wait. I tried it again and the wind would gust up. So it's actually been really nice weather, but whenever you're trying to do some spray painting outside and not get black paint everywhere, that's a little bit of a problem. But as you can see, I had gotten paint on my on my hands. So that's, that's what you're seeing. I'm also um, using some stamps here. These are the stamps that actually came in the kit. And I've used it a few places, not a lot. I actually really enjoy the little tiny word strip. Um, word strips, I was going to say word strips, but they're not. They're um, word stamps that you can use kind of like you would use a word sticker or word strip. And it's been, um, I just like the look of that. I think it's really a pretty look. And I don't ever stamp in colored ink. I always use gray, black, or yeah, that's it. <laughs> gray or black. I don't use any other color. I really would like to find a good white ink. And I know, um, dearly D yes, D, um, uses a white ink all the time. And so I really need to write down which one it is that she uses, um, and see if I can also have the same results that she does. So, because that is one thing I would like to add to my stash is a good white ink. I have some white paint pens that I actually really like, um, but I like the white ink to be nice and crisp. And I don't like the fact that sometimes it fades into the background. So I think that's why I've shied away thus far from it. Because if I go for it, I want it to work. I don't want to have to reprint a photo or something like that, especially since I don't print my photos at home. I print my little life print, um, life printer print photos at home because they're like two by three. But these four by six and three by four and any of the square photos that you see, those are photos that I have ordered and um, um, had shipped to me. So 
it's a little bit more work. If I mess up a photo, I have to order it and stop my process for that moment. So I shy away from using things on my photos if I know they're not going to work or I'm not sure that if they're going to work. I will use a black ink on it because I actually have pretty good results with that. But even that I don't do very often just because I'm afraid I'm going to mess up the photo and I don't have a way to quickly get photos. I've ordered photos from local like pickup places, but I have not been happy with the quality. I've only really been happy with the quality from Snapfish and Shutterfly, to be honest with you, and the ones that they ship you. I don't like Shutterfly where you pick it up at the, I think it's CVS you can pick it up. I've had awful results with that. So I don't do that. I just don't like the way that it looks. It's not, <clears throat> the quality is nowhere near the quality of what I get when they ship it to me. And I don't know if it's, it's probably just the CVS. I think it's CVS, right? Isn't that where it is? It's probably just the CVS that it's closest to me that I did the pickup from. I don't, they just probably aren't the best at what they do. Um, it's probably someone who hasn't been fully trained on it, or maybe the equipment isn't properly maintained. I don't know, but I definitely get better quality whenever it gets shipped to me. And it's actually easier because then I don't have to go anywhere and pick it up. I can just get it shipped and it's really easy. And I always use coupon codes. So I really am only paying a few dollars here and there for a hundred photos and it's totally worth it for me. They actually have a, uh, Shutterfly actually has a coupon code that ends, is it today? I think it's free shipping. Um, maybe it, oh, I'll have to go check. It may have already ended, but it's free shipping regardless of the, like no minimum. So that's something I'm definitely going to take advantage of. I already have photos in my cart. I just need to go check out, <clears throat> do the checkout so I can get them shipped to me. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I need to say about that. <laughs> Went on like a long ramble. Um, <clears throat> trying to think of what else is going on. So I'm doing really good about printing my photos. I still haven't done December 2018, which is kind of what I had written as my goal for this month. But I've done more than that. I've done a couple months already from 2018. It just hasn't been December. I was doing the ones that I had already pulled like the uh, memorabilia out for, which was February and March. And then I sorted through all the memorabilia from April through December. Um, because it was all just in a big pile. So I sorted through all that, and, but I haven't actually ordered those photos yet. So I might try to do a little bit of that today and then place that order with Shutterfly. Um, we'll see if I get through to December by the end of this month. But if I don't, even though that was, I had written that down as my goal for this month, I will be okay because I have already done more than what I had written down. It just wasn't that particular month that I had written down. So I'm extremely happy with the progress that I have made in printing my photos and getting caught up on my scrapbooks. Um, I really appreciate everyone who's responded. I've asked like different questions during different videos and have had really good responses back from people. So um, one of the comments was that, um, let's see, it was probably like a week ago. Yeah, I think it was like a week ago. Um, and now it's totally escaping me who said it. Maybe Candace. I can't remember. Um, somebody was saying that they typically use new kits that come in, not not really stash kits. But she made a comment. She said that I'm killing it with my stash, stash kits, which I really appreciate. But my question then is, that made me think of another question. So if you are someone who only uses new kits, do you like watching videos of layouts using stash kits or do, would you prefer to watch layouts using new products and the same vice versa if you are a person who typically only scraps from their stash do you still like watching videos of um layouts using new products or do you prefer to watch layouts using stash kits sometimes people and this is true for myself as well sometimes I like to watch videos using older products because it makes me think oh I have that I can go and pull that out and I can use it the same way but then again sometimes I like watching new products because I want to see what's out and what's new on the um what's new in the scrapbooking world something that I may not have seen before and something I might want to go buy so I'm just curious does it matter to you if you are watching a video using products that you are not using yourself. Like if you're using stash products and they're new products that the person's working with on the video or vice versa. Just curious. I'm just wondering. There's been a lot of things that I've been thinking through a lot of different things um, and kind of just being more purposeful in what I do. And so that kind of came up and I was thinking, I wonder, does it matter? Um, let me know what you think. Just curious again. It probably won't change how I do things, but I just like to know those type of 
things and information. So that finishes out this layout. Kind of simple overall, but there are a lot of different elements that are kind of included here. I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and I will be back soon with another video. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.